it is here we're here we've done it this is this is exactly exactly what we're looking for it's like a retreat what is going on everybody's here welcome back to some more no man's guys so last episode we found this place this is an absolutely awful horrible terrible planet so i think we're gonna go and try to find another one we're gonna go try to find another one i have <laughs> i said last time i wasn't gonna do this but everybody was saying they're actually pretty common so uh we're gonna kind of we're gonna we're gonna try to find a new place to call home completely i want to start a new base i want to start it on a new one of like the the new generated planets and i want it to be a good planet that's not like crazy storms if it has a planetary archive on it that would be ideal we're asking for a lot but we're gonna try to do what we can so hopefully you guys enjoy if you do please don't forget to leave a like if you're new here don't forget to subscribe as well for some more oh my gosh all right so i uploaded this base right here and i believe that if we find a spot and i put a uh, i put one of those guys down that will actually that's not my ship my ship is like within this ship if i uh if i do that i can download it and i can actually place it wherever we find it so without further ado let's start looking for the perfect place to call home if we could find a binary system as well that it, oh man if we could just find the perfect planet with the archive in a binary or or trinary system trinary system that would be fantastic so in my search for the perfect planet uh this is the planetary type is the nest i don't know what that is i've never heard that so we're gonna look that we're gonna we're gonna see what's going on here now it does say high sentinel activity it does say star bulb though star bulb copper paraffinium and sodium uh usually star bulbs like are from what i remember they're on semi temperate like temperate planets so what does the nest mean though oh what there's like eggs everywhere what in the absolute heck is this place these look like the um gosh these look like the eggs that you get from ooh, what in the heck these are disgusting these look like this looks like the same egg that you get in space when you uh when you find like the living ship stuff that is super weird. So what the heck are these? Uh, infant. It's a plant. What are these things? This is super creepy. I don't know if I like it or not. <laughs> They're so weird. What are these? What is all of this? What in the heck? It's so weird. Uh, what is that thing? Unknown. What the heck? I, this is super weird. This is a weird planet this is a weird planet i mean i guess maybe the living ships are originate from here these look like the same thing as the living ships they absolutely do these look a hundred percent like the same type of thing so what happens if i mine it does it just mine it like a normal oh that's weird what is what is all uh, what is all this stuff over here is that the star bulb that's so weird this planet is like extremely creepy. My living ship feels at home here. It's like, oh, this is, these are my people. This is weird. Let's fly around. I'm going to see if there's anything else neat here, but this is, I don't know. Uh, hmm, weird. Oh, there's a trade station here. Let's pop it in over here. Really weird. This is definitely like, this is the planet of the living ships. This is where they came from. I just know it. Uh, the weather's unusually mild. So that means the weather's like super nice here. This is actually like, if, if we could find a, a, a place like this, this could be, this could call, we, we could call this home. Words are hard sometimes. We could call this home. Uh, local trade station. It's really weird. Like, I feel like my living ship wants to live here. Well, what do we have here? Uh, can I interact with this thing in any way? This thing is super cool looking too. All right, let's save it in chart and let's see what, uh, let's see if we can find anything. I was kind of hoping to find a planetary archive here, but, um, I don't know. 
This thing is super cool. This reminds me of the missions for the uh, the living ships. I think this is like because it, it, it took me to one of these kind of things before. Huh. Interesting. All right, moving on. So this is an incandescent planet. Rare firestorms. Um. Okay. So this is one of the planets where everything will randomly catch on fire. That is fantastic, and I want to stick around for a firestorm. <laughs> Wall of flame detected? Oh, no way. Let me see this. Oh, you can bet I want to see this wall of flame detected. Yeah, thermal protection. Okay, what is this wall of flame? Okay, where's it at? I'm ready to see the wall of flame. Okay, we're in a storm. Uh... It definitely looks like things are on fire. Or it definitely looks like thing. Oh, things are on fire! <laughs> things are literally burning! Oh my gosh! What? It's a firestorm! It's a literal firestorm! Oh my god! Oh my gosh! Oh, uh, that is terrifyingly cool. Oh, shoot. Uh, I gotta, I gotta get up here quick. My thermal protection is super low. That is super neat. All right. Well, this planet is literally on fire. Let's go. <laughs> Let's leave this one. That was super cool, though. Well, this planet's called a planet of light. What does that even mean? What does a planet of light offer us? Oh, it has all of these voids on it. Neato, neato. You know what? Let's 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 hop out and grab some. <laughs> we always have to hop out and grab some. So the these are uh, what light fizzers? I think is what they're called. I will take you, Mister Light Fizzer. I think I already have some of these, but you know what? You, hey, you can never have enough light fizzers. Oh, there's like all this like weird like light gases too. You see all that? That is so cool looking. So I'm not gonna lie. I'm actually kind of confused right now because I don't know what that is. That's the sun. What is that? Is that a planet? That seems super far away if it is. Oh no, it is a planet. Uh, it's a boggy planet boggy planet it's going to be a swamp it's really weird because it looked like all it looked super dark and i was like it almost looks like um I, like i don't want to say a, it didn't look like a black hole but it kind of looked like a black hole it's really weird Ooh, anomaly <gasps> Ooh, what's this ironbound relic what what thought are you shoot it when in doubt just shoot it uh okay so we got some valuable cargo neato all right, well, we're at the boggy planet. Uh, it looks it looks very uh, very covered in water. Let's see if we can find a bigger landmass over here somewhere. I don't think there is a larger landmass. <laughs> we, this planet is almost completely water. This is a verdant planet, so that might be uh, that might be beneficial for us in finding a nice place to call home. Uh, oh, time to go. Let's just go check this one out. I was gonna go scan other. I was gonna go scan other planets, but <laughs> we'll just try this one first. Verdant planet. Hmm. It could be good as long as it has that. It doesn't have like firestorms or something like that. Oh, it looks. It looks really nice. Oh, it looks pretty. Uh. Oh, it looks really pretty. Very brightly colored. Oh, it's got bubble creatures on it too. <laughs> Hold on, let me uh, let me land somewhere here real quick. I want to see these bubble creatures. Uh, corrupted blood. What does that even mean? Oh, this place looks beautiful though. It's a bubble planet. There's just a whole bunch of bubbles. This place could possibly be terrible. I want to see what this corrupted blood thing is though. Like, what is that? What's that gonna do? What's up, little dude? Let me scan you. Um, aren't there big bubbles? I thought the big bubbles were the bubble creatures. Hmm. 
This place looks really nice. I want to see what this corrupted bloodstorm thing is, though. This is really, really quite pretty, though. My gosh. Big, thick, luscious grass. Hills and trees. Hmm. I like this one. But that corrupted blood. I want to see what that is. I guess those aren't creatures. I don't know. There's uh, There are some planets that have, like, bubble creatures on them. And they're pretty neato. Oh, this place is just beautiful okay let's see what this corrupt oh look at it. it's like it's like luminescent okay incoming storm so what is this storm what does corrupted blood do it's like toxic radioactive is it nothing it'd be cool if it was nothing and it was just like a, a storm it's gonna be like a tornado or a hurricane or something what is corrupted blood i don't know what's going on here is it doing anything? Like there's nothing really going on. Like I'm, I'm not, I'm not burning. This is 22.6 degrees Fahrenheit. But I mean, that's, that's not terrible, is it? Oh, what are those things? Oh, those are underwater. Oh, oh, they're like little crystal dudes. So, ow, stop it. So it's a little cold. Oh, do you take a lot of damage? Wait, okay, hold on. Ah, it's gonna hurt. No? Nothing. I don't, honestly, it's a, it's a little cold. But it doesn't seem that bad here. Other than that, that storm. Like, it's, the storm doesn't even do anything. Okay, so this planet has Arzir Storms. It has remote sentinels and abundant flora and fauna. Azure Storms? So it has like a rainstorm. Because I think I'm in a storm right now. It's 114 degrees Fahrenheit. We don't have heat damage. We don't have anything we have to worry about. This is another like nice looking little planet. It's just kind of rainy. <laughs> right now. A little swampy. The ground's not super colorful either. Uh... Could use something with a little bit more color. That last planet. Oh, man. That last planet looks so cool with that. I love the grass that was there. Hey, yo. I will happily take an upgrade. Neural assembly node. Uh, Neural assembly. Yes. That is the... Um, that's our that's our takeoff and landing gear. <gasps> Ooh. Okay. Let's go ahead and... Um, let's move it. I want to... Oh, I need to install. Uh, neural assembly mode. No. Eh evolve yes it's gonna go all right here and we should evolve it because we have plenty of nanites to s class uh negative 20 percent launch launch cost and automatic recharging heck yeah so that's that's a total 40 percent uh less uh takeoff land or takeoff charge that's awesome okay cool that is always a good find so we're gonna go check out this azure planet azure planet azure it could be Azure. It's probably Azure Planet. So we're going to check this one out and see what the, see what's here. This whole system seems pretty mellow. All right. Well, that's not a good sign. It looks super fiery and orange already. <laughs> oh, there's like lily pads and like big rain trees and stuff. Uh, There's already a storm going on. There's always a storm going on. Let's see what kind of storms are here. Oh, it sounds nasty. Inverted super storms. Sentinels fuel, flora bountiful, fauna rich. Ah, uh, thermal protection active. Darn it! What's an in inverted superstorm? What is, what does that even mean? What's an inverted superstorm? <laughs> does that mean it like sucks everything out instead of like raining? It sucks all the water from the ground. Uh, this place is kind of cool looking though. I like all the rings, but yeah, the the whole uh, the whole storm thing is a is a no go for me. It does look really, it's really like orange. Interesting. Oh, we got a binary star system. Oh, that's cool. All right, let's see what kind of planets we have here though. Uh, big ringed planet, what are you? A uh, vapor planet? High sentinel activity, hmm. A terror sphere? That doesn't sound good, terror sphere. Terror, as in like, super scary sketchy things on here 
let's go check it out. That sounds like a good time. All right, it looks super rocky and barren. Tell me this is where the worms are. I want to see a worm so bad. Terror sphere. Why is it a terror sphere? Oh. What in the heck? What is this place? This place looks super weird. Okay, so what's the deal? Dead wastes? Low sentinels, invasive flora generous fauna. And do I have any like, are there plants that want to kill me? Thermal protection, okay, so it's really hot. Are we in a waste storm? I'm not gonna lie. Okay, you know what? It's kind of creepy. This planet is actually super creepy. <laughs> this planet is super creepy. Is it meant to incite terror? Is that what it's supposed to do? There's gonna be like just sound effects and things like that play. You know, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, big plant, big plant, big, big sticky plant. Um, I'm not gonna lie. It is actually playing like super creepy music. Like, it constantly sounds like there's something sneaking up behind me. Aloe flesh. Ooh. Well, this planet is super weird. <laughs> Let's just leave. I don't like it. It's giving me, it just doesn't make me feel good. There's music. There's like creepy music. It's so weird. Yeah, we're out. Forget this. This, this planet's terrifying. <laughs> Paradise planet? No way. No way. Is that literally, is that literally the, just what I'm looking for is Paradise planet? No way. Is it in the name? Okay, we're going to get out. We're going to, I want to see what storms we have here. Because the storm could be, the storm can make or break it. It really could. Pleasant, low security. Uh, flora is scarce and fauna is copious. Interesting. It's literally a paradise planet. Man, I just wish I had more vegetation. Like, I wish there was like trees and stuff everywhere. You know what I mean? Oh, it's literally a paradise planet though. What is this? Is this like a super knowledge stone? Uh, hello. Oh, it's a Gek plaque. Seek with language, uh, Gek knowledge language expanded. We learned the word for do. <laughs> um, hmm. This planet is really pretty though. I just wish there was more trees. I'm getting so nitpicky right now though. I'm getting so nitpicky. Oh, and look at, we found an area that has like a, a little bit flatter area too. It's almost like we have some rolling hills here. What the heck? What are those things? What the heck is that? What are those? They just disappeared. Oh, look it. There's little teeny tiny guys. What the heck was that little weird plant thing? <laughs> I almost thought it was, I, I was scared for a minute. I was like, is that like a sign of a worm? <gasps> those things. What are you? What the heck? Hello? Uh... You guys are super creepy looking. They are super creepy. Um... So this planet... I mean, it's nice. I mean, it's... It's nice. This is like countryside rolling hills thing. This might be it. I mean, if I could... If I could find a, uh... If we could find one of those archives here, that would be perfect. Hmm. This is pretty, this is pretty nice. So I went and picked up some charts uh, and they all brought us to this rocky planet. And this one has a minor settlement. I just kind of want to see what it is. If it's what I think it is. And then I don't really care. Yeah, no, I don't really care about that one. Okay. So we're actually, you know what? It could be worms here. 
There could be. Okay, let's actually land at the <laughs> let's land at the settlement and search for worms. How's the weather here? Incendiary dust. No, thank you. Okay. Worms? Any of you guys see a worm around here? Big worms. Oh gosh, we got another wall of flame coming in. How am I supposed to explore for worms? All right, you know what? Let's uh, let's head out of here. Let's go back to the paradise planet. I'm gonna uh, I want to use some of those charts on the planet, and I want to see if we can find ourselves a archive there because that paradise planet it's it's pretty nice. It's it's like a paradise. <gasps> Planetary archive detected. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I think we got it. Planetary archive on a paradise planet. Yes, please. Colossal archive. I'm so excited. <laughs> I think we found a new home. I'm so happy. <gasps> Ooh. It's a cool looking one too. Oh my gosh. We found it. We found the perfect archive. It's on a paradise planet. We don't have to worry about the weather is pleasant. Sentinels are low. It's beautiful here. Destination reached. Absolutely destination reached. All right. We got to put out a, um, we got to put out a base computer now. All right. Claim base. I want to see if I can download my base from the other one that we did. Because this one is so much better. This is so much better. Okay, so. Uh, upload. There's not a way to like download the base. Hmm. I thought there was a way to do this. Because I uploaded the base last time. You know what? I don't even care. I don't even care. This is it. <laughs> this is our place. <gasps> I'm so happy. Okay. The only thing I can make it better is if there was a uh, electronic thing nearby. That, that's the only thing I can make it better. No nearby hotspots. Uh, that doesn't mean that it's not here. That just means we have to go out and look a little bit. Oh, this place is so nice. Oh, we found one. We found one. Oh, we got a little eye guy right here too. Okay, we found a uh, we found a proxy a hotspot over here. It's a B class, and you know what? I think I'm actually gonna move my base a little bit. Uh, I think I'm gonna move it over here, so it's like right up here on this hill. It'll be overlooking this area, and overlooking these rolling hills. Oh my gosh, this is the like perfect place. And I don't think I don't think I can claim another area because I think it's gonna interfere with my claim back over there. Base computer. Uh where did I just put it? Okay, I mean right there is fine. I'm going to say it's going to interact with my own base. Oh! Suitable site for construction. Claim base. Heck yeah! Nice! Oh, this is so nice. I'll just leave the other base there too. Heck yes! Okay, uh, so now, hold on. Uh, do I even have, like, the stuff for, for power? So, let's see. Tech. We need uh, power. Power. One of these guys. I can build 64 of these. You bet we have power for that. Okay, cool. So, we just got to find the area. All right, we got it. We got a spot right here. Oh, my gosh. It's so close. It's just, like, right next to our place. Hot spot discovered. Heck, yes. Now, all I have to do is build a thingy here. Boom. We've done it. We got power. And uh, I'll probably put like a little platform right here for like power stuff. But there's the power. And then actually let's go to run a power cord so we can get a, uh, a portal over here. Stat. There we go. All right. Powers ran. Now we need we need the building. We need like um, the portal itself. Oh, this is going to be good. This is going to be good. This is our new perfect base place. It is here. We're here. We've done it. This is this is exactly exactly what we're looking for. It's like a retreat. 
so relaxing you have overlooking hills that way you've got the you got a big huge lake ocean thing over there you've got the planetary archives right there you got this plant that's going to be dead stupid plant that planet that's oh you oh we have water on that side too wait what got me that time was it this one you get out of here oh this is just so perfect i think what i'm probably gonna do is i'm probably gonna actually flatten out this area a little well i don't want to mess with this grass because if, if i dig this like this grass going, is gonna go away so i don't, <laughs> I don't want to do that yet <gasps> oh i love it so much it's so good it's so good all right then just to call this home for now uh we're gonna go ahead and just hook up this portal and then that will allow me i don't want to teleport i don't want to be bite be i want i want the power cable where's the where's the power cable this guy no there two perfect okay <laughs> yes oh my gosh this is fantastic let's go ahead and rename this base to uh to to my you know my paradise archive there it is z1's paradise archive let's go ahead and capture a new screenshot oh it's not daytime though it's not gonna look very good and that's fine we'll just take that for now that'll be fine perfect yes yes and yes <gasps> oh this is so good this is so good okay so um yeah we oh we found the perfect place we found the perfect place oh also if you guys want the coordinates uh let me just go ahead and pull up photo mode there are the coordinate coordinates right there in the bottom left hand of the screen if you guys want to check it out you're more than welcome to and now that they did the whole thing where you can teleport and like actually build and do whatever you want and call in freighters and stuff like that there's now a planetary archive on a paradise planet oh it's so good it's so good i am so happy about this let's move the sun like right there so we can get an idea oh my gosh does this just not look you see what i'm saying oh it's so nice it's so nice i cannot wait to build here so uh next episode we're gonna do some base building here and we're gonna have a good time it's gonna be fun Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm just so excited. But thank you again for coming out. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. I'll have information linked down below if you have any questions about anything. Also, I will have a uh, link to our Discord if you want to hang out there. We have a No Man's Sky channel. Chit chat about No Man's Sky things. But thank you again for coming out. Have a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!